it may be no surprise that I love all things zombie. <laughs> Well, maybe not everything, but I'm so excited about the Night of the Living Dead. Uh, excuse me, mate. Being brought back to life in a live action play. I can't wait. Can I have one ticket, please? <laughs> oh my God, I nearly had a heart attack. After finally getting over the first fright and a quick change of underwear, I'm off to meet the show's director, Benji Sperry. <laughs> have a heart attack on TV. Guys, this is no longer funny. Get out, just leave me alone. <laughs> oh my God, I can't take no more. Now I have been scared out of my life <laughs> coming in here. Is there more of that to come for the audience? Yeah, definitely. I think if you're doing something like Romero's Night of the Living Dead, you have to you have to feel the horror stuff. So when you're sitting on stage, when you're sitting in the audience, there's loud noises, there's scares and jumps and things. So it, it'll set people off. What's this about a splatter zone? I think it's really important when you see theatre that everything is immersive and that the audience gets surrounded. So when we were looking at the script, it just seemed like a really good opportunity to get them on stage and when someone gets shot, when someone gets attacked by zombies, that blood goes everywhere. What am I going to be doing today? I think you should be a zombie. So the makeup and everything? Yeah, we'll get you in full grayscale, we'll put you in a costume. You're going to be a beauty queen zombie, I think. That's Amazing. going to be perfect for you. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. So how do I become a zombie? Yeah, it says it's about the three P's, Alison. What are, what are those three P's? First P? Yeah. Pace. How fast or slow are you gonna move as a zombie? <laughs> okay, I get ya. Second P? Pitch. How high or low you want your zombie noise to be? Just dribbled. <laughs> and your third P? Physicality. Which bits of the body are you going to lock off to be a zombie? Now that I've been taught the basics, it's time for my zombie lesson. Think about the pitch, about how high or low you want your, your zombie noise to be. <sighs> OK. Perhaps, perhaps that, yeah. I don't know if I can do this. Well, I'm a beauty queen. I think I'm going to do that. The zombies show me some of their best moves. Oh, Excellent. yeah. It's got like a diddy bop. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not quite there yet. Oh, she's she's really... in pain. <laughs> she sounds like she's in pain? Yeah. Yeah, you sound like you're in pain, according well, to I'm Mark. Well, I'm a zombie. I died. So is that good? Yeah. Good point. But with a bit more practice... <laughs> oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? I think I've got it. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Yeah, no, I think that's really good. In order to yeah. really scare the so audience, exactly I actually need to look like the oh, living dead. You, so I'm off to hair and makeup to get into character. This is it. <laughs> no turning back now. After only half an hour in the makeup chair, I've transformed into the living dead. I don't even look like me. I look like a zombie. <laughs> Well, I've had my fair share of scares today, but it's time to turn the tables on the audience. I've got my costume on, hair, makeup. It's showtime. <laughs> the theatre is filling up, and I'm beginning to feel the pressure. <laughs> and with the audience finally seated, it's showtime. <laughs> And now, without further ado, it's my big moment. <laughs> I accidentally splattered the people that were to be splattered. That's been one of the best things I've ever done. Well, I splattered blood on the wrong people and my lines weren't exactly complicated. 
But nonetheless, I'd say I pretty much nailed the zombie thing. <laughs> <laughs> he's just put it, the she noise splattered that... the people that weren't supposed to be splattered, and the noise. <laughs> and then she sounded like she scared herself. <laughs> and if you're brave enough, you can go and watch Night of the Living Dead live at London's Pleasance Theatre until the 8th of June.